in this lecture we will discuss about the queue data structure uh, suppose we have a ticket window uh, and uh, in front of the ticket window the various people are coming let's say a person number one person number two person number three person number four person number five and so on and so forth let's say this is the last person who has arrived and he is the first person who has arrived so when the ticket window will open the ticket window will serve the ticket first to person number one let's say this is front fine let's say another person is coming so he will be added at the rear end let's say this is the rear end if another person is coming he will come to the rear end when the ticket window will open it will serve it will serve first to the person number 1 who has come at the very first after him person number 2 will be served after him person number 3 will be getting the ticket so we have two ends front and the rear at the front end service is offered at the rear end new person is added fine so this is the queue in which the order in which the persons have arrived in the same order the ticket is served so we can say that this mechanism is working on the principle of first come first serve the person who comes first will be the first one to be served or we, in other words i we can say that it is first in first out arrangement in the way that the person who has come first will be the first one to be out fine so this arrangement is known as the queue so as a definition if we say that queue is an ordered collection of items ordered means it is following some order first come first serve or first in first out order into which items may be inserted at one end called rear of the queue in the earlier example also we have seen that the persons are add, getting added at the rear end fine and removed from another end called front of the queue so whenever a person has to be served it will be served from the front end after serving one front shifts to two and this person is served after serving two front is shifted to three and this person is served so queue is an ordered collection of items into which items may be added at one end called rear of the queue and removed from another end called front of the queue fine so this is the definition which says that it is an ordered collection of items it is either following the first come first serve order or you can say that it is following the first in first out order into which items may be added at one end called rear of the queue and removed from another end called front of the queue so the queue has two ends front end and rear end Fine, and it is following some order. It is the ordered collection of items. It means it is following some order, and that order actually is first in, first out order. Fine. You can take some of the examples uh, of uh, the queue data structure. For example, you have to perform the breadth first search in the graph. So the nodes in which the Uh, the nodes which are explored from one of the node is added in the in the queue fine the order in which the nodes are being explored they are kept in the queue so bfs in the graph is is uh, will actually use the queue data structure what we can obtain from the bfs 
one other thing is that in which order the uh, the vertices have been explored first it's a graph traversal technique another thing is it will be giving us a pattern of shortest path considering that every edge is having uh, cost one it will be finding the shortest path as well another example of uh, or another application of the queue data structure will be in level order traversal suppose there is a binary tree Let's say this is the binary tree, and you want to perform the level order traversal of this binary tree. So the level order traversal for this binary tree can be found by first putting the root node in the queue, and then removing it and uh, adding the childrens of this node in the queue. Then removing this one, and then adding the childrens of B in this queue. And then removing this and adding children of C. Since there is no, there are no children of the C, so we'll remove this one D and we'll add the children of D. So there are no children of D. Leave it as such. And for the E, there are two children. They will be added in this queue. And then moving this one, no children of F. Moving this one, no children of this one. The queue becomes empty. So the level order traversal of this binary tree, uh, binary trees A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The order in which we have performed the deletions. This, this is the level order traversal of the binary tree. You can see that at level zero we have A only. At level one B and C. At level two D and E. At level three F and G. So level zero, level one, level two, and level 3 so this is the level order traversal whenever we have a concept of a buffer anywhere we will be using the concept of the queue for example there is a sender who wants to send the packets to a receiver let's say sender is very fast in sending the packets but receiver is not that very fast in receiving the packets in that case there is a queue maintained at the receiver end for send packet to be there and they will be delivered to the receiver with a speed that the receiver can receive so there is a concept of the buffer when whenever there is a speed mismatch between the two entities the concept of the buffer will come which will actually store the items and will those items will be delivered to the slow receiver at the speed in which the receiver can receive so wherever the uh, buffer concept is there we will be using the queues fine thank you